There are two big threats to the industrial real estate market, and it could impact the prices we pay on virtually everything this year. These two threats are record low vacancy rates and record high construction costs. As you see as we'll go through this video, these two market forces are actually making each other worse. By now, we're all familiar with the rampant increase in lumber costs. Interestingly though, wood is not commonly used in warehouse construction. I'm gonna pop over to a new building to show you more. So I'm standing in a 20,000 square foot building and outside of the staircase and guardrail up top, the rest of the building was constructed with concrete, steel and glass. While not a major cost in warehouse construction, these increased prices in lumber have spilled over into virtually every other construction material as well, which includes steel, glass and concrete. It's a combination of lumber costs making other construction materials look more attractive, thus driving up demand for those materials, as well as construction materials facing supply chain issues and increased transportation costs. Everything is more expensive, even if the feds are telling us that inflation's under control. Uh, we don't expect that those uh, that, that upward pressure will produce uh, substantially higher prices or that the effects will be persistent. We expect that they'll be transitory or temporary. And this inflationary environment is also coming at the same time that major markets across North America are now seeing historically low vacancy rates for industrial real estate. It's led Prologis, one of the largest industrial property owners in the world, to say that they expect global lease rates to increase 6% this year and 6.5% in the US. The natural solution to low vacancy rates is to simply build more, but with construction prices increasing at a rapid rate, the market might not be able to add new inventory in time to relieve these pressures. Some analysts expect prices to come down later in the year, so it might prompt some developers to wait until next year before they add more inventory. And for the markets, with a lot of development already underway, the rising input costs will likely be accompanied by increased lease rates. So what does this all mean? Well, my crystal ball is as murky as anyone else's, but if we continue seeing this crazy amount of consumer-driven demand, which is artificially propped up by the insane amount of money printing, then there'll be continued downward pressure on warehouse vacancies and upward pressure on prices. But if this past year has taught me anything, it's to never try predicting consumer behaviors or anticipate how the government will try manipulating the market. One thing is for sure, 2021 will be just as unpredictable as 2020. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you seen anything in the construction space? Are prices going up at a crazy rate? Are vacancy rates going down? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. As you'll see as we go through these video, as you'll see as we go through this video, these two market forces are actually working against each other. Uh, let's scrub, let's do the whole thing again.